Greetings everyone, my name is Guy McGowan and I'm coming to you from Durban in South Africa and uh, there's a couple of things that I'd like to share with you, a couple of observations um, as we near the end of our first day of uh, isolation uh, in South Africa or uh, lockdown as we call it. Um, and, and, and yesterday, uh, before before we started this process, um, was obviously a, a lot of trepidation and not knowing and conflicting viewpoints and ideas and and questions and so on. And um, yesterday, I happened to have to go out and get get a couple of supplies and uh, obviously not not overkill. I wasn't intending on buying. 50,000 toilet rolls or anything like that. Um, <laughs> but uh, nevertheless, I set out bright and early um, at about 8.30 yesterday morning with the intention of, first of all, going to the butchers to uh, to stock up on a few things. And I arrived there and uh, the queue was around the block, so I departed immediately and uh, headed for my local shopping centre. Uh, and uh, I arrived there and, and the, uh, the supermarket had just opened, uh, but there was also a lengthy queue and I thought, well, I'm here now. So a couple of places I need to get to in the, within the center, so I'll, I'll, I'll stay. And um, yeah, so I, I, we, we joined the queue. I joined the queue and, uh, and there was a, an elderly couple behind me and I struck up a conversation with them and uh, we were joking because the uh, there was a there were signs everywhere saying to keep a one meter distance and coincidentally the the trolleys were about a meter in length themselves so everyone had a had this meter gap in between them and uh, so we were discussing various things and I noticed as I looked around me and I mean the the, the weight was approximately maybe twenty twenty five minutes um, but as I looked around me. Um, other people were also joining in conversation with with one another and uh, and people that generally wouldn't necessarily interact or engage with one another have a conversation with each other and uh, you know so I completed my completed my groceries there and then I went to another store to to go and get further vegetables and so on and so forth and as I was walking through the mall I noticed other people were also having conversations with them, just stopping and having a chat and, and uh, yeah, and I, little catching little snippets of the conversations that, that as I passed by and, and they all seem to be positive. Um, and then what I'd done with my, with my vegetable shopping and so on, um, and I was walking back towards the car, car park and so on. And, and, and then I met somebody else who I haven't seen, hadn't seen for years. Um, um, an old, uh, yeah, he was, he was, he's, a, he's a lecturer and, and so on. Um, and, um, he was there with his wife walking by and, uh, so we struck up a conversation and, and chatted for maybe 15 minutes and, uh, just catching up and talking about the state of affairs and how it was applying to different people and who thought what and why and, you know, and so on. And. Yeah, and, and I just realized when I got home afterwards that, that there was this amazing sense of, of camaraderie um, that that stems from these this bringing together of people. And uh, it, it, in the moment, it actually reminded me of our South African uh, elections in 1994. And I remember the... Um, the lengthy queues and and people not quite knowing what was about to happen and but yet there was this excitement and and, and, and there was a joy in the air and there was a there was a, a very positive vibey energy and and it reminded me of that because I felt the same kind of trepidation obviously um, and and yet there was this there's fun, there's fun in the air. And, and I realized, you know, 
Uh, I, I don't know much about other, other, other countries, other nations, and how, how, how people react to situations like this. Um, but I know that, has, that, 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 that South Africans pull together immensely well in times like this. And, and, and really, and I see things going even now, and I see things going beyond beyond the divides of, of, of color, um, of, of religion, um, of culture, and so on. And this is incredibly powerful stuff. You know, if we look beyond the, uh, the three-dimensional way of, 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 of seeing things in terms of all oh, this virus and so on and what it's, what it's doing and who it's affecting and how many people it's killing or whatever. Uh, if, we look at, if we look beyond that, um, it's almost a sense that this is meant to be. All of this is here to help us help us to help us to grow put us to bring us together this uh this um <laughs> call it what you will whether it's a quarantine period or it's a it's a, a curfew scenario or a um a lockdown you know it's 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 actually forcing us to come together it's forcing us to take pause from our incredibly busy and 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 one track ways of life that we seem to have we 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 almost like a like a freight train hurling itself through the night um, that's how our lives have become where we we don't see anything on either side and we pass we pass landscape and and life and living without actually reflecting on it, without actually taking pause to reflect on it, without actually even giving, in many scenarios, a cognizance to the family and the friends around us and other people in general. And here we are sitting with a, with a situation which is forcing mm -hmm. us to do so. And that is, to me, immensely powerful. Um, and uh, a co another consideration is that, you know, what, what, what we know, everything that we know, um, that have, we have experienced throughout our lives, um, has got us to where we are right now. What we know has got us to where we are right now. In other words, our past. And, and that's a very safe place to be because we can always look at situations and go, go okay, well, I've experienced that, that in the past and so on, and I, and I won't do it again, and, and I'll learn from this. And so we always look to past experiences and, and what we know to kind of formulate a way forward. And, and yet here we're faced with a situation that is outside of what we know. In other words, it's in what we don't know that we don't know. This has never existed for us before, not on this scale. And and that's and yet and, and that's a scary place for many people. What we don't know is 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 kind of it's we're insecure, we become we become, we become frightened and become afraid of, of what what's what's to what's to become of us kind of thing. And yet where we know well at least what we don't know that we don't know is exactly where we need to be and to and to give you some perspective on that it's it's like this thing has this virus has forced us into into a situation where we have to start embracing what we don't know that we don't know and and once we've now started to get over this this it's, it's not so bad. It's not a scary place as we imagined it to be. In fact, it's become an exciting place because, well, number one, you know, businesses have been having to send people home and work from home, etc. Um, they've had to give people responsibility. They've had to give staff responsibility. And when you give people responsibility, they embrace that. And they go, okay, well, now I've got to do something about it. Now I can better myself and now I can show up as being, you know, now I'm not a, a, a laggard working from home. Now I'm going to do something real. And, and, but not beyond that, now I can, 
actually engage with my with my family more. Um, I can I can I can I'm now responsible. So for my time and you know for, for working it out and how I'm gonna how I'm gonna operate etc. Spend more time with my family. Spend more time with my with my pets for example. I'm I'm in my happy place, and and that gets people to be become far more productive. So I think that in that sense alone, this this period is going to show up to organizations as being a uh, a really a, a wake up call um, that that we can streamline things a, a, a great deal, um, where p people can be given the opportunity to work from home. Um, on a more regular basis, perhaps, um, perhaps more businesses will start to to function more online than what they did before. So, it, just in that sense, it's given it's given us a, a great deal to think about. And I mean, we've got now three weeks, twenty one days to think about. Well, twenty days now, um, but we've got a great deal to 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 think about. And this has actually given us given us the opportunity to to embrace it to start thinking about things and and it's amazing how i mean even for, even on day one some really great ideas has, have come up for me just just sitting in contemplation and being idle is not such a bad thing being idle is not such a bad thing we don't have to fill it with stuff because we're so accustomed to being busy all the time we don't have to fill that time always because being idle is where we let go of the clutter of, an, on, of our everyday lives and thus allow new thinking to arise. New opportunities will come as a result of that and, and, and beautiful things. We'll get to nurture our relationships better, um, at least have conversations. Just like I was seeing yesterday, people having conversations. When does that happen? Arbitrarily. And uh, yeah, so it, it it actually will force almost those and those people who who are afraid. It doesn't matter what at what level they are in terms of how much money they have or uh, um, what their status is and so on. But but those people now will go. Hey, I need to reach out. I'm not alone. You know, that realization, I'm not alone. And, and, and now I need to reach out and say, well, geez, I, I need some help with this and, and talk to somebody. Reach out, even even from our isolation. And, um, and that's happening. I'm seeing it happen all over. And people are realizing that, hey, it's becoming important to communicate, to stop listening to one another. And... Uh, and that's brought me to the realization that this, uh, that the the art of listening, which is a workshop that I run, um, is becoming far more important now because listening has taken on a whole new dimension of late. And uh, so I'll hopefully be rolling some more of these little inspiring videos out. I'm hoping that they're inspiring for you anyway, um, in due course, and and maybe even putting some kind of a little program or platform together where where we can start to work with some of these ideas um, um, in cyberspace of course uh, yeah um, so I'm very excited about what's happening at the moment and and yes I'm respectful of this situation but one we have to be we can't be, we can't be flippant about it most definitely but we also have to gain this perspective Panic buying is 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 non-essential. <laughs> it's non-essential. It's 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 really ridiculous. Um, so so we need to actually reach out to those people who are doing that kind of thing and and go well. Hey, what do you think about this? Why 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 do you why do you feel the need to do this? And they can start to then question their motives and their reasoning behind that as well. So that's what listening is all about. We need to listen to one another. We need to communicate with one another. We need to have engaging and powerful conversations with each other. Ask each other, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? And why am I here? What, am I, what, is my, what is my purpose going forward with this? This place that I'm, that I'm shoved into all of a sudden. 
So lots of lots of opportunities for 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 reflection here, and um, I hope that that everybody is is managing to to embrace it in some generative way um, that helps them in their lives. Um, and 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 I'm always available, so you can reach out to me, please, on be it on Facebook or on Instagram and and so on. Um, as I said, my name is Guy McGowan, and you'll see my my handle. Uh, it's also Guy McGowan on Instagram, Guy dot McGowan, M C G O W A N. So please reach out to me, have a chat. Um, let's. I'm always open to conversation. So uh, and I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear your thoughts and. And what you're doing with your time and, and what you're doing with your thoughts in your head. <laughs> All of that stuff. So people, be safe. Um, live with love. Live with integrity and gratitude. And uh, thank you once again for your, for, for your time. Cheerio then.